semi-final stage, also known as the most ridiculous boss ever. I think I'm going to lose my first continue here, and uh, there's no shame about it, unless I'm really lucky. It happens that you can be really lucky and the same thing that happened with uh, not Annabelle Cannon. And uh, here you're already exchanging tons and tons and tons and tons of boss attacks, and she also is using her charge and gauge attacks. Her gauge attacks are mostly streaming. Uh, not mostly streaming, are pure streaming. Which, uh, at least you know how to dodge them, but it tends to conflict the, the random nature of the other stuff in the game. Which makes it hard at times. Can I charge in time? I can also bomb because I was going to get hit. Maybe I should have taken the hit, actually. Now that I, now that I think about it. Man, she just cancelled my boss attack like that. Let's just bomb this because she's not going to die otherwise. And uh, yeah, that's cheery for you. All of a sudden, I've already lost my two bombs. And uh, I fell that simple streaming. Apparently. That's what the game tells me, though I can't really believe it. This fight gets hellish really, really quickly. You have to he hope that it doesn't. Hope again. You heard me. See all those lasers appearing out of nowhere? It's when she, she kills really way too many flames. Because... Uh, Everything's way too hectic, and there's way too many flames on the board. Board? My accent is funny sometimes. Board. At least a gauge attack be simple. Notice I still haven't hit her. That's the least of my... Well, it's not the least of my worries, but... Hey, I haven't died yet, it's actually quite quite a feat. Yeah, I'm attacking. She's using gauge attack at the wrong time. Except, you know, these things get last longer and longer, so the streaming is a bit more difficult every time. More difficult, also known as harder in some countries. Not all of them, but some countries. So you want to stay on the edges of the screen just to be able prepare and have enough space to do that streaming. But man, those lasers. They're like Marissa's lasers, except that they have a random direction, basically. And they might ap appear a bit more slowly. Yeah, they appear... <gasps> just killed myself here by summoning a level 2 or whatever. Yeah. Okay, first death to Cheery. Nothing special. Wait for a boss attack to happen and then release my level 4. If I can actually beat Cheery on this continue, then I'm more than satisfied. Okay, can I get my boss attack? My natural boss attack? Running into moons because you don't have a choice because uh, of something called streaming. Don't even try to for boss attack if you can spare it. Well, actually, I should have tried here because she just decided to run away. Oh! There you go. Uh, of course, she reversed it instantly. Like I had any hope of actually doing some attacking stuff, and also trying to stream when there's a laser in the way is also impossible. I freaking hate this fight. I freaking do hate this fight. See, once again, lasers in wave, but luckily they disappeared fast enough. And she, look at her screen, she doesn't get hit! God's sake. Even though I can have my armor Jing Yang orb in her screen a lot of the time, she still doesn't get hit. God. I almost did.
Alright, time to charge up. And I shouldn't have because I got my natural attack. Arrgh! Hey, she got hit! Yeah! When she's barely ahead on sources. Except that now she's really ahead because she just summoned her boss attack. And I have nothing left. And I am almost dead. I have full power. That's the only thing I have. And here I used my bomb when I have no bombs left and a full charge. It makes you invincible for a short period of time and makes your, your attack in your screen very strong. It's uh, the desperate measure. And uh, usually when after you use that you have nothing left to defend yourself. And uh, when she summons her boss again, you've got to hope that you can reverse it. By mostly my sheer luck. Sherlock. That was a pun, I think. And yeah. Seriously, how the hell can you dodge this? Ah, cheery. And now we're on my last life. I think I'm gonna gonna stop there if I uh, not not bother using another continue because uh, this way this will make a short LP. <laughs> ah, flames are everywhere. But I did manage to get a hit on her. That's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I have to admit it. Boss attack, boss reversal, boss reversal. And then she does her own boss. No, she's okay. AI is a bit stupid at times. But thank God for the AI not being perfect because this game is impossible enough as it is. Okay, now she gets her boss attack. And I'm completely stuck in between those lasers. Hey, uh, hey I still have bombs, so I shouldn't. She also has used one bomb. Yeah, not even trying, not even trying. And she doesn't die after the bomb, which makes me lose a ton of life, but she did get hit somewhere in the process. Okay, boss reversal, boss reversal, please let me do it! Uh, yes! <gasps> she also has used all her bombs. Hey, she just needs to attack. No, no need to defend when your name is Chiyuri, because you're going to kill the other person outright. Ah, this game <laughs> makes me sad. Mada, mada. Something. I'm not strong enough. OMG was when I uh, beat Chiyuri for the first time, and then I lost to Yumimi just afterwards. Erg, this game. No. I think it's... I never got that, I think. Game is over. I think this game is pretty bad. Because of what I said. It's, I think it's, it's probably a bit better than the, the other Phantasmagoria game which we will play. Because it still has some good and fun dodging. No, no demo, please. No demo, yeah. But uh, it's just aggravating to know that the only way to win is basically pray and hope that it won't be too hard. The thing is, the other games, of course, have their randomness, but they give you lots, well, a really good amount of lives and bombs to compensate for that. And one bomb will definitely negate one random moment. It's not like the game is one huge random moment. Because this is what Phantasmagoria of Dim Dream is. <sighs> oh yeah, and I, I, since we're not facing Yumimi, there's really something I wanted to say. Yumimi's boss theme... I mentioned how it uh, sounds at times like... Uh, Romancing Saga 3 final boss theme, 
which is a, a music I really like and uh, I, after listening to it again I definitely think that it's really inspired by it at times. It's something Zood really likes to do, it's just you know, take snippets from other songs and use it in them like Eren's theme, Gensokyo theme. Eren's theme, Gensokyo Millennium it sounds basically like Braveheart for the main mel melody part. Vermilion's theme has a, uh, you know, the, the pathet Pathetic Sonata by Beethoven and other stuff like that. Yeah, just something I wanted to mention. And uh, that's it for this game for now. Maybe I'll do it again another time, but I'm just sick of that randomness. So, signing out. See you guys next time.